Before we start the video guys, you can get your first month of Envato Elements for only $9 via the link below. If you've watched this channel or if you're a video editor, you probably know what Envato Elements is. It's a pretty good deal. Check it out. Every subscription helps the channel. All right, let's get into this video. And how's it going guys? Joshua Lufemi here, live from LA. And I have on the phone right now one of my good friends, Annie Graintman, live from Lagos, Nigeria. He's a very talented filmmaker. He's done behind the scenes stuff for the channel and he is actually doing his first tutorial on the channel. You guys are gonna love it. He is a VFX artist for a lot of major West African artists. For this specific video, he wanted to explain a cool VFX trick that he did that involved a lot of stretching. Now guys, before we start, you gotta add my bro Annie on Instagram and let us both know whether you wanna have more music video tutorials of his work below. It, it's actually hilarious. I, I just realized that my bro, Visionaire Pictures, actually directed this video. Gotta follow him on Instagram. He is dope, incredible person. Um, Annie, it's so dope that you guys know each other. Just mind blown, just the world is so small. All right, let's go. Hi guys, this is Annie Gretman from Nigeria, currently in Lagos, and today we're going to learn how to create this. Voila! So if you think that was interesting or cool, then keep watching. We are going to be doing this completely in After Effects. So let's hop right in. Okay guys, welcome back. Um, let's look at what we are going to be working on one more time. Um, the interesting thing about this effects is the fact that if you look at uh, Malik's hairline, you realize that you can there's detail on it and the lady behind isn't affected by this effect. Um, that makes it look more realistic. And while we're at it, Annie actually did another cool VFX trick for another video that Visionaire Pictures made called Sakude. Check it out. And before we continue this tutorial, just leave a comment down below if you'd like to tutorial on that effect down in the comments below. Alright, back in After Effects, um, let's, uh, without any further ado, let's just go to what we need to do today. First, we have to create a new composition, and to do that, there are two ways. Um, you can either go to Composition and click on New Composition, um, put in your settings and everything, and then, you know, click OK. But for this, I'm just going to drag the clip and drop it on, the, on this composition, uh, composition icon. Now, the next thing I have to do is to trim my in point and my out point. I'm just going to do this by taking the work area to where I'm supposed to start. You can do this by just clicking on um, B on your keyboard and that will take the work area to the exact position. The mark in of the work area to the playhead. We are going to do this um, for the out point also. So it's either you click and drag on this or you can just simply click on N on the keyboard and that takes it to the exact point. Just right click and click on the um, trim comb to work area and that will just cut out every other unnecessary thing. We have to um, go to our effect control and add um, the mocha effect, right click, go to Boris and click on mocha AE. Now what we need to do now, make sure that your resolution is always on full so you have enough detail to work with. Go on and click on mocha and uh, we'll just be flipped to Mocha World. So to zoom in, just hold on Z on your keyboard and click your left um, left click and uh, zoom. Same thing for zooming out. Or you can use this, this um, tool, the zoom tool for zooming and that's click on your left click and you know move your mouse and blah, blah, blah. Same thing for the hand tool, use it to move around. Now we are going to be using this tool for the cropping, for the masking, sorry. And sorry guys, you know, um, this is actually my first tutorial and I might make mistakes on some of the naming. So we're just going to do the cropping. I'm going to speed up this part and uh, yep. There we have, just right click and it um, puts an, it put an end to the points. Okay, let's zoom out now. 
go to change the window to um sorry to classic and make sure that your minimum pixel used is increased to 90 and turn on your perspective uh because the head is moving the perspective of the head is moving so um go back to let's go back to our rotor window and the next thing for you to do is to make sure select all your points and next thing let's just track backwards and notice as you are tracking backwards you know and um, look back at your points you can easily just adjust them back okay so we are done i'm going to name this head always make sure that you name your layers makes it easy for you to find just keep your work and neat and, and clean let's let's look at it again i think this this uh this is okay I'm going to mask this other hair strand, a bread, I don't know the name. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to repeat the same step we did before. Mask it out. Um, I'm going to speed up this part, guys. Okay, so you can click on the show layer mats so that you can easily isolate these things and helps you know if um, if you have a clean mask or roto. I think this is pretty clean. let's do uh the last masking that's the other hair behind this 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 one um zoom in remember what i told you guys your hold your z for zoom so okay let's do this this last one go to your masking tool okay i think this we are okay with this save and go back to uh after effects yeah okay here we are what we need to do now is go to uh mat and then turn on um apply mat let's duplicate the this and on the lower layer we turn off mat and uh, mocha and we're going to be doing all of the effect here but we realize that um our shoulder we didn't uh, mask out our shoulder so let's go back to mocha and uh, fix that one up it's gonna be a quick one so let's leave that go back to mocha and uh let's fix this up i'm going to speed up this process guys so the same thing you know mask um uh, make your masking smooth and all that. Okay, for the neck, I'm not going to turn on the perspective because you know it's almost it's the same thing. 
whatever way works better for you whatever setting you need to do to have a clean work that's all that matters so that's the snake we're going to save now and let me name this first save now and go back to after effect and what we need to do now is we duplicate this on the lower layer we turn off the mocha and on the upper layer that's where we're doing everything so well first let's roto um his uh, beard so that we that's realistic hair thing i told you the detail is there so we do this we do this by going to our roto and refine ash tool yep now you realize that sometimes not all the time if you double click on your roto you realize that you can't find the brush um the brush uh, whatever so you just um go to your brush tool and just click on it and yeah you have that so you just simply go to your roto uh um, tool and then you can increase the size as the diameter and just simply paint on those edges we won't need this other side so we're just going to work on this area because this is where we are applying the effect on so uh that's it and we are going to play this will render the whole this will render the effect on the whole footage okay i think that's that's clean enough for this tutorial let's go back to our comp thing so let's go to our transition and click on cc scale wipe yeah that's it increase the the stretch and then put your damn direction to sorry minus minus 90 and initially um the center is always in the middle so you can just um define your center and we want this to apply only on the head so we go to our mat visible layers and turn off uh the shoulder yep um whatever works well with for you now let's let's move this a little bit to this side now if you realize uh, I think I think we need to turn off the neck mask because it's it's affecting the neck mask okay let's get this one first so we have to go back to our mocha go to uh, visible layers and turn off the neck okay so that's that's good um what else um uh, i think what we need to do next is uh, we need to do a keyframe however you want it and um, right click go to your keyframe assistant and click on easy ease it just makes the keyframe smooth now this point just adjust it to how you want it i'm just going to adjust this to what is okay for me so whatever is okay for you just do that okay i think that's okay for the head next thing we're going to be working on is the shoulder okay so we'll just simply do the same thing uh, but for this one let's just uh let's duplicate the lower layer and uh 
um, turn it on, go to mat and disable every other thing exception of the shoulder. Okay. So same thing, go to your transition and uh, apply the CC skull wipe. Increase your, your stretch and put, uh, define your center point. And remember minus 90, stretch it out. And yeah, that's it. So just um, keyframe how you want it to come. Um, I'm, I'm just going to do it how it works for me. So do it the way it works for you. Okay, so um, that is it. Round of applause. Andy, great job on your first tutorial. Um, I think this is going to help a lot of people. I actually want to try this effect out too in a future project. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge on the channel. Guys, please make sure to follow Annie on Instagram. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share this video with anyone else that might be interested in making cool music video effects. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, remember, keep it chill.